All right, so uh, today we are going to be working through how to do a scenic design rendering completely in Google Slides. And so you can see one here that I've already made. Uh, I was going for creepy night in, in uh, creepy forest. So that's what I was going for here. And I'm gonna show you how I created this one so that you can have a feel for some of the things that you can do in Google Slides as you're making this. So we'll go down here. We're going to create a new blank slide. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to background. And under background, we're going to choose image. And you'll see here that I searched wall and floor background. I added stage so that it'd give me a little bit better feel for it. There's so many options in here, y'all. Uh, this is the one I chose, so I'm going to go ahead and go with it. I like it because it has the extra walls here. So done, it's already populated that in here. Awesome. Uh, next, I'm gonna try to work from the back forward. It helps with layering uh, and it keeps things from getting in the way of, uh, of the other items. And uh, it also is kind of nice to think bigger picture first and then fill it out uh, to the smaller details. So we're gonna go up here to insert image and we're gonna search from the web. And so, here, I wanted a night background. You'll see that I have transparent background. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, for this one, it's not as important for the background. Uh, look around in here. Make sure that, uh, that you're choosing the one that you like. I like the first one, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. So I select it. I'm going to hit insert. And then I'm just going to size this down to where it fits. I'm just going to match the edges of the wall. Bring this side in a little bit, a little too much. Sometimes that's easier to shrink it a little too much and then drag it back down and match that line up. There we go. All right, so now I have a background and I want a moon. I think that uh, I think that moons are beautiful and I think that it really adds to uh, a nighttime scene. Choose a second one here. Okay. And then one thing you want to look at is making sure that we're keeping our items uh, where they would be. And so on a normal stage, we would have curtains on the side. We would have our teasers coming across the top. And so this actually would be disappearing and we wouldn't see it. So I want to try to keep it on my background here. I'm going to size it down. There we go. Okay. So now we have our starry sky, we have our moon, and so if you look back here, okay, we want to add in uh, these trees next. And so I'm going to go back here, add my image, and so you'll see here again with the moon uh, that I went ahead and added in that transparent background. Uh, the nice thing with the Google Slide is it, it saves your, your last search. And so I'm going to go creepy tree. Good, this was the one I used. I'm gonna bring it in. Now, here's one of the cool things about using this type of a uh, image is that you have this grid on the floor. And so you're gonna be able to play with how far back is an item um, and, and depth perception. And so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy back a little bit on the floor, but he definitely needs to be taller. Uh, I think if you're gonna put a tree on the stage, you know, let it take up some space. Let it really uh, show you uh, the limits of the world. Sometimes it's cool to have it go up into the um, into the curtains. You know, you never know how tall that tree actually is. We're gonna add in this other one since we're already looking at trees. You know what? Actually, I think I searched. I, think I searched dead tree instead of creepy tree. So sometimes you can find the same. Kind of thing and it's just changing that adjective so this tree if you look over here on the grid this tree is actually further down than this tree and so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it forward here just a little bit I'm gonna resize it and then there we go all right so right now even though uh, these are 
roughly the same height in terms of where they hit, you can see where the uh, where the trunks are landing, and that's going to show us this difference in depth. The stair unit that we're about to add is going to really show us that depth. So stair unit, this is the one I chose. You can see there's a lot of really cool options in there. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then, all right, so now we get to start playing with depth in terms of the order on the page. And so you can see that the stair unit here is blocking this guy. And so what we actually wanna do is you can right click, come up to order and hit send backward. You'll see the hotkey here, uh, command in the down arrow. And uh, that is another way that you can do it. For now, we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. All right, so we have that. Now, uh, here's the next uh, kind of fun one. I want you to not get so caught up on what you find over here, but think about, is there a piece of it that you like? Is there something that uh, you could use if you modify it a little bit? So I actually really liked this rock wall here. I love the shapes. I love the extra little pieces that you get in here. I don't like the color for what I'm doing right now. Um, and then as you'll see here, it's gonna pull in and be way too big. Um, I'm gonna resize it down and then a little bit less. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna right click, hit format options. And you can do this with any item and you have some really cool options. Don't be afraid to get abstract on this a little bit if you want to. I mean, it's your scene and uh, be as creative as you want. You want a, a turquoise castle? Make a turquoise castle. Um, just make sure that it fits with your design concept. So I'm going to go ahead and recolor it uh, to kind of be that gray scale and be a little bit closer to what's going on with the stair unit. Now, I don't need this entire piece, and I actually am going to get a better line with the wall here if I bring it in a little bit. And so I'm going to bring that in a little bit. I'm bring that in just a little bit. Oh, see, and that brought the whole thing in. I actually want to leave it there. I want to bring in just that little piece. Okay, so now I'm moving this with my directional uh, arrows, by the way. And that's totally cool. It totally works. I'm going to do just a little bit less there. And then now I'm going to use my command down arrow to send it back. Let's see here. See how it still looks a little forward? It's, it's not quite right. And so placement wise, that looks better. Let's see, how do we do? Yeah, that's pretty close. There's going to be small differences. I'm not, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want the right feel. And we want it to, to still make sense with the world around it. The reason that I wanted to add this wall here is because I have this really cool stair unit and I like to have interesting exits. And so having an exit that's up towards the back and that's at a different level, uh, we're going to assume that these walls here are actually off stage. Um, but that makes it interesting. And so uh, the stair unit here, I couldn't find a platform that I liked. And so make a wall. And then we're going to assume that there's a walkway here. So we have that. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to start adding in everything in front. You can see here, does this technically give me a scene, a place for people to be sure, but I want to add in some of these fun details. That's what starts bringing a little more character into it. So I'm going to go back in here and we're going to add in the dead grass. Okay. And I actually chose this one here that you'll see has three. I don't need three. I'm not going to use it, and so what I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to go ahead and chop this down here, okay? And so I just cropped it, and then you can click off of it, and then that's going to give you just the images that you chose. So resize them a little bit, position them, and then I want to put it behind this tree, so I'm going to command down, okay? Hotkey might be different on a on a PC. That's hard to just right click and then when you go into order, it'll show you what your hotkeys are. 
All right, so now we have it back there. We're showing a little bit more depth, which is fun. Um, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Okay, now we have some stuff growing here, but we still have a walkway right there, which is nice. Let's go ahead and add in these rocks. All right, this is the first one I chose. It's a boulder, we'll shrink it down a little bit. Now it's a rock. Uh, I wanna be careful here as I'm adding it to the edge of the stage because I wanted to make sure that it's still sitting on the floor, but that it's not falling off the front there. Yeah, that works. Awesome, and then we're gonna add in the other one. Now obviously I'm moving quickly through here because I've already made this. I know what I want, I know what uh, I'm looking for. You're gonna have to play around a little bit. See what see what you like, see what works, what makes sense. Uh, how are you gonna create these interesting levels? And uh, Both here we have levels coming this way, going up this way. Uh, people could enter back here, people could enter up here. Um, think about how are you gonna make this scene interesting and not so uh, flat. I think it's easy to get caught up in uh, two-dimensional, and here we're really gonna try to play with that depth. So here we go, we have almost everything. We need to add in um, this little guy. And so I believe, when I was just kinda looking, what else do I wanna add? I did castle, okay? And obviously there's gonna be a lot of different ones here. You're gonna have some that pull in uh, the background still. There are ways to get around that, but for uh, the ease of use, just try to keep it uh, keep it to the ones that when you pull them in, they don't have a background. And that's why we're searching with the transparent background setting. Okay. Position it just a little bit. And y'all getting used to working with the directional keys is really, really nice and helpful. I'm going to move it behind the rock there so that uh, this leg isn't uh, isn't in front of it. And now we that depth makes sense a little bit more, the legs being here. And then the last thing I'm going to do, you know what, I actually do want to move it over just a little bit so that the idea is we could still walk through if we wanted to on that side. Uh, so the last thing we want to do is we're going to add a person. The reason we're going to add a person is because uh, we want to see uh, proportionally that all of this makes sense. What if this was a giant castle um, and our person wound up being teeny tiny? You know, you can show us that. So knight with a K, here he is. Okay, so see, now all of a sudden, that's a teeny tiny set. You know, if you're itty bitty, that changes everything. So we really want to work to make sure that his height makes sense for this scene. So there we go. Um, minor differences here, but pretty much the same. Um, so you're going to take this uh, same idea, the same technique of doing things on here, and you're going to create your world. Have fun with it. Uh, get creative and see what you can do. Thanks.